it's been a long time since we posted the video of this radial progress which animates today is the time to go forward in this video series and create this graph okay so when we click on this there is a screen coming from bottom and uh, this graph is shown and some activities are shown here so right now i am considering a rough data and i will just i am just creating this graph only this graph how and with the animation so uh, and these labels I will be doing in the next video but uh, animating this is a big task so I have uh, uh, taken it out as a separate video so let's have a look I will create a new graph screen where this will be a graph in the center of the screen and when I click on this it will animate like this I hope uh, you have seen it and let me run it once more okay so this is the animation uh, let me just increase the uh, animation duration so that this code I will remove and I will uh, explain you what I have written and why I have written so you will understand it uh, very soon okay so let me run it once more just remove this okay so I am clicking and just see the animation So this is how the values will be animated. These values come from a specific data. If I change the data, the value. Um, so in my main dot dot earlier, it was uh, something my home page, uh, but now we are just uh, drawing a graph. So let's create a temporary uh, graph file. Okay. And uh, that file will be, uh, it will be a temporary file, uh, which is just holding a graph variable and that graph, uh, not variable, the graph widget uh, will be actually uh, be responsible for whole uh, handling of the graph and everything okay so show graph inside that uh, I will just create a stateful widget and remember guys I am working on the part 2 so this graph is in the part 2 radial animation radial uh, progress is in the part 1 okay uh, part 1 uh, branch so let's create show graph it's, it's a stateful widget and um, now let's import material so that we have this scaffold everything here and since we are uh, directly starting it here let me import it so since we are starting here we need to override uh, we need to take material app as well so let's wrap it uh, okay let's uh, create a material app so remember this is not a permanent thing it's just to uh, add a graph here okay <clears throat> you will understand in a minute what i'm doing so in the body if you go i just create a container uh, which will have a child and this container will again have a graph widget okay but uh, graph I, we have to create in a separate file so that it's uh, we can take it away from anywhere and uh, yeah so let's create container for now and then I will put create a uh, graph file and uh, let's give it a color of some hundred uh, okay colors dot green gray and height 100 so that you are able to see that this will be a graph actually a graph and let's see let's run it okay what load has failed so let me just restart <coughs> so we will be replacing this with a widget a graph widget as you can see the gray color has come here so uh, what we need to add here is we need to wrap it inside or we can do one thing alignment we can give here alignment dot uh, center okay so <coughs> this uh, gray color gray box oh it didn't come so uh, let me it's just normal thing not an okay okay so this might work okay so here we here our graph will be now what we need to do we need to create a graph here that's it and uh, now before that also we need to actually we need to give some duration for this graph to animate okay so <coughs> we need to have a, a single ticker provider state mixing okay of this uh, show graph right and then we need to have a animation controller okay which will be a graph animation controller simple names and then init state we will have dispose so this is just a ritual of uh, using animations okay we initialize them you initialize them in init state and uh, dispose them in um, what we say dispose method okay this and duration will be our duration 
of uh, say suppose seconds and two right now just we are developing so we will keep it like this and here we will dispose okay so this is the basic setup now two things we have to pass here one will one will be our controller so that our we pass the controller there so that the same animation same controller is being used there and we can uh, forward it we can reverse it there okay so before that we need to handle a click listener as well so what we will do we will wrap it inside since this this is not a widget so this editor is not able to uh, um, means you know not able to identify whether it's a widget or not so we have to do it by our by ourselves okay we add a child and this will the graph now <clears throat> on tap what we will do we will just uh, uh, move this animation in the forward direction okay now our next part will be to create the graph widget the whole body of it and let's see how we do it um, we create this uh, graph widget let's create a new file graph and uh, let's create a stateless widget with graph okay and uh, you know uh, we have uh, we want to actually use the this uh, animation so controller or we can say animation controller can be sent here okay and uh, as well uh, height height also okay height let it be height we will define here itself whatever be the height of this okay so let's make a constructor with uh, controller fine and uh, height as 120 as of now this can be changed so let's create the two final variables first will be our height which will be double and it can be final and second will be final animation controller so we are not creating second uh, instance of this animation controller but the animation controller which is being initialized in show graph will be utilized here okay now what my idea is let's go to here i will create this one bar and then based on data how many entries are there the number of bars will be uh, populated in the loop so i will create this one i will animate this one and then we will repeat it for all the uh, entries we have okay so my first stress will be to create this bar okay now uh, let us take here um, let's define a graph bar it, it it will be a stateful widget because we need some animation here right okay and inside this now you can say that uh, okay so this graph will have a container which with some height so let me just take height and it will be height as well now it will have a child okay so this child can be the graph bar right as of now this will be the case let's make this color as um, i will say blue and uh, let's see if something is getting reflected here i don't know uh, okay so definitely uh, we didn't import it import the graph so let's take it here and yeah let's run it okay so this is taking complete space that is not an issue because when we eventually we will be adding a row here which will have multiple children and children will be our uh, graph bar and multiple graph bars I think you are getting the point so let's do it like this and uh, okay so color will color will not be given to this container but to each graph bar the container is okay sorry I made a mistake I should be adding this here I think you're getting how I will develop this okay so this will be the row and yeah so each bar is a blue color let's see how it okay there is some some issue so let's add some height as well maybe just for the sake of running it okay so we will see it later okay so main axis x uh, does this work anyway main axis alignment dot space between no it's very okay it's not working here but anyway uh, we will do it later so let's just add a graph bar here 
okay and let's for the sake of thing we let's keep the width as well so it looks good so this will be our bar now what we will do it uh, we will need a custom paint here and we will give a custom painter similarly the way we did in radial progress the same way we will be working on this graph bar state okay so let's have it uh, have a look at that we will wrap it in the row I would like to show you that it works and let's see how it works so these are multiple graph bars here and if we give main axis alignment as a space between there will be a gap coming in between so likewise we will be adding all the bars here okay so let's now uh, work on the uh, graph bar itself which will be inside a custom paint okay as you can see here it's a custom paint and uh, this thing we have done multiple times in my video series so okay it will be a bar painter and we have to uh, create a bar painter class okay which will extend uh, uh, it custom painter okay which will have two methods if you are watching my videos uh, regularly you will be fairly available uh, fairly aware about this so <clears throat> okay now we need to create a, a beautiful colorful thing here so this will not be required uh, nothing will be required here so let's uh, create the painter now okay one thing more uh, this bar um, has two things it has a, a gray background and other field value okay so for that uh, we will have two paints here one will be the gray color paint and one will be the shader paint okay so let me go to it and also this is some percentage of overall height of the graph bar okay so for that also uh, we need to give one height for this width we can remove now and uh, this also we can remove so height will be uh, the Mm, height of the this uh, graph height itself so uh, this we can um, I think pass or uh, okay can we use it here no we cannot so for now um, uh, let's uh, pass it here okay so uh, I have added all the height here and some percentage also will be required okay so this percentage will be how much uh, percentage he has completed out of max okay so let's put uh, some percentage here so it will be suppose 50 okay or uh, I, I think it should be something in this so percentage is denoted like this 0 0.8 let's take 0 0.7 0 0.9 and we will take 0 0.1 here so let's let's hope what or uh, let's think what will be there so five graphs will be created with these two parameters so let's create the constructor here okay graph bar with two things one will be height second will be our percentage and this both will be in double so take double fine now uh, let's add a uh, height here so this will be widget dot graph height fine and uh, now let's uh, make the first paint so it will be for paint equals to gray paint okay and uh, it will have a color equals to okay so I have forgotten to tell you that I have already created this color two colors I have added from my previous pa part the so gray color and the dark gray, dark gray color since this is not used right now it will be used in future so leave it like that it's a gray color now let's take the stroke cap equals to stroke cap dot uh, round similar to what we used in animated uh, our uh, contain um, animated uh, radial progress and this width uh, width is there okay but not there so it will be I think um, what we say uh, something oh what is that oh I added comma so that's why it's stroke width 
so it will be 5 okay fine so let's do it quickly so this is our first paint let's draw the first line and uh, before that let's take the two uh, let's take three points the top point bottom point and the center point why i am saying center point because my animation actually starts from center goes to the top goes to the bottom at the same time okay so um gray paint okay so take uh, offset three points we need so top point equals to offset it will be definitely 0 comma 0 okay offset of uh, bottom point will be like 0 comma size dot height fine and third will be my middle point okay center point let us take it and uh, this will be us uh, okay size dot um, okay zero and uh, it will be size dot height by two by two fine okay fine so now let's draw the line my first point for my gray line will be top to bottom and my paint will be gray paint okay uh, let's do it till here and see what is the output okay so definitely there is one error now what is this error okay so oh, to try moving the extra positional arguments but found to okay fine so uh, these are two here <coughs> but okay maybe oh sorry so let's do it this okay now as you can see these are gray lines okay now let's take um, okay let's take the second paint as a filled paint okay so this will be this will not have color but will have shader shader and this shader will be a linear gradient which will have list of colors so let's define them so just uh, any color i am taking and it will be some shade of 500 and then colors dot blue shade of 500 uh, next in this scenario we will have a beginning it will start from my uh, okay it will start from top point to and end from end with okay uh, top point dot dy and end with uh, my bottom point dot dy fine so this should be okay but what is the issue okay okay, okay. so we have to actually write to create shader here and uh, i think this will show some error so don't add it here do add a rectangle from my ltrb or from points so okay let me format it now it is too much here so it will be my top point so i am creating shader from my two points here and yes now it's formatted as well but we want to add something more so adding shader this adds a shader okay fine okay some issues are there definitely we will be able to resolve it it's just uh, i think some formatting issues i have done so let's take these two things and paste here mm. so where this guy will end okay see now it's uh, organized so we have filled paint now let's quickly go through our um, uh, we just take the height so this will be double um, filled um, filled height so this actually depends on the percentage 
and uh, the height of oh my god so where is my percentage okay okay so one thing i forgot that we have to send percentage here uh, okay so based on that every bar will have different percentage to show so let's add bar painter and this dot percentage okay you will understand it very soon uh, when it's in uh, working so i will there are there is there is a lot more to work on this so it's not the end it's just the starting of this so we will take percentage into height or we must say size dot height so now suppose this value is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 120 which we have defaulted here so 0 0.5 into 120 it will be 60 so field height will be 60 out of this okay 60 out of 120 but it has to start from center so let's take the uh, half height of that because we want to divide the 16 to two parts it should start 30 here and 30 here i think you are getting the point so uh, filled half height just uh, a variable so it will be filled height by two fine now let's um, simply draw two lines one starting from center to top okay let's do that canvas dot draw line okay so my first point will be uh, the center point okay um, so it will be center point and my second point will be my offset of uh, zero comma so my dy position will be uh, total uh, means i would say um, this will be zero uh, uh, plus it will be plus okay and uh, it has to be somewhere here so it will be adding the field half height there and that can be my uh, what we say um, field paint and the second line will be it will be starting from zero and coming here so it will be height minus uh, this part okay so it will be size dot height minus field half height okay so this will be my bottom point and uh, yeah let's uh, try to run it now okay something okay so let's run let's see okay it's working it's working fine so uh, uh, forget these two values they are very far so for that also we can do one thing we can just simply um, add some padding here that would be okay so as in sets dot symmetric horizontal 32 dot zero now you can see uh, this is what we say is um, fifth bar so it's 0.1 it has backfired I guess so let me check the logic so this is 0.8 okay so it has backfired so 0.8 into size height this became field height uh, let me check the logic and I will uh, just explain you on the issue there was a silly mistake here let's go through the logic again so we want to draw two lines my first line will starting from the center and it will go to top here okay so what will be the, my top point it will be somewhere here so its position x will be 0 and y will be it will be center dot dy minus something and that something will be my half height so we missed center dot uh, dy here and similarly my bottom point will be here to here so it will be center dot dy plus this uh, bottom uh, this field half height which will be in this case 30 so center dot dy will be 60 60 plus 30 will be 90 so it will be 90 here and it will be 30 here so it will be showing overall 60 percentage 50 percentage of 120 which will be 60 of 120 i think i am making sense if not uh, you can just rewind it okay uh, so center point dot dy and this will be plus so if i run it now full fledged so i think it's running here but uh, one thing we need to i think we missed something or there is some issue it should run only on the click of it 
it won't run because there is no animation applied so it will be directly displayed now we need to work on the animation okay so as you can see this is uh, the output so this is 50% of 120 this part this is 80% means this part this is 70% you can see the difference 80 is bigger than 70 and then this is 90 now let me take this one okay I want to explain you one beautiful logic of this graphs okay uh, so this is complete one but as you can see here there is no graph which is actually attached to this so this makes sense because there will be no value that will be uh, in case of this data you know uh, there are I mean suppose this is a bar of some height so how you can judge that this bar has reached the max of it so you will have to have a buffer of some height every time on top of this bar okay so for that what we can do here is we can just uh, add this uh, by some 20 and uh, also this by 20 so our actual height of the bar will increase by 20 okay so this will this makes sense and it will be uh, completely okay to do this because now we are logically good if we are 100% here and I will tell you why how these percentages are coming so my logic will be there will be a pool of data pool of entries okay let me just uh, write here so actually I already have uh, my fitness data defined so let me just directly go there okay so this is my fitness data that I created so this will be my day data which will have uh, these entries so at 12 am he has uh, worked 100 steps 3 am he did 80 6 am 70 so this is my data now how you will convert it into something like this uh, graph so basically i would like to show 100 here right 80 here right but out of what so for that we i need to take the maximum value of this which will be 120 and every value will be divided by 120 so that i get the percentage out of it now of course 120 becomes this will be somewhere uh, 10 by 5 by 6 so this will be point uh, i would say 8 right but some value like 120 will become 1 right so similarly the same way i have shown you here there will be one value which will be 1 there will be another value which will be 8 so there will be significant significant difference between these two and one will not acquire this complete because there might be a case that it becomes 150 and my whole situation changes this divides this is getting divided by 150 this is also getting divided by 150 and of course this is this becomes 150 there can be a case that this becomes 160 so this will be divided by 160 every time so these values will change so this is the scenario that we have to consider that's why there will be a logic required to find max value sorry max value out of all these values out of all these values okay so now i will be showing you how we can do it okay as you know uh, in we have already this fitness data so why i have three entries three things here because uh, this is a demand of this uh, ui uh, there is a day there is a week data and there is a month data so similarly i have created three things day data week data and month data for day data we have these type of labels like 3 am 6 am 9 am and for week data i just assumed it should have seven uh, labels sunday to saturday and into sunday monday tuesday and with some steps uh, for each uh, weekday and this is for each day of the month so this when we click on month it should be month data so uh, definitely uh, we have three things here so we need to pass them in this uh, graph itself so let's create another uh, uh, named parameter here and uh, pass here day data just and let's check now since we don't have don't have values here so so we can go here and add this dot value and then we can have a final list of uh, graph data which is actually a uh, just a class which having which has label and value 
<coughs> okay and uh, this is just a compare to method i will tell you why we need because uh, we have to find max uh, value uh, out of these uh, all the data okay so here in this case it will be 120 in this case it will be 4000 in this case it might be uh, 2000 okay so because you know max value is used for this exact uh, bar uh, compared to other bars so there is a relative height of each bar field bar okay that's right so we take values here and we have this values now how we can use these values so let me just uh, give you a small uh, code so let's take uh, double max okay not double max the graph data max graph data just take it like this or you can simply put uh, 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 you can simply put max here now we go to values we reduce them and we have two things one will be current second will be next and what it will be returning it's basically um, uh, runs recursively in the list of data and uh, checks a condition and returns <coughs> the value okay so the final value will be either next or will be current now what will be the condition it will be simply next dot compare to because uh, this compare to will have the same uh, execution as written here so it will compare to the other value and the other value will be our current okay now this will return us a value and uh, based on that we can choose whether to return next or current now this next and current are just indexes and it will return equals to greater than equals to one so if suppose you are going on a list of five so this will be our when in the first iteration this will be the first element the second iteration uh, and, and this will be the second element in the first iteration so first iteration, uh, first ele second element is compared to first element if it is greater than it returns next otherwise it re returns current then the in second iteration this becomes uh, current becomes the second uh, number second graph data and this becomes the uh, next becomes the third graph data and similarly comparison happens and uh, then uh, we can uh, i think we can simply return this and uh, for your sake of uh, understanding the logic i have explained but uh, let's print it also so that we uh, actually get the thing here okay so let me just restart the app okay there is issue i guess this dot value so okay animation controller height what is the issue here what it says add final field formal parameters oh sorry so this was just a spelling mistake and okay so let's run it now uh, you can see i am passing day data here again it will be an issue so okay so i am passing day data here and as you can see in run you can see 160 why this 160 because we have written 160 here okay now uh, we if we pass weak data it will be whatever the logic will be running and it will be returning us the data okay so it's 4000 which is also correct it returns 4000 then if we pass month data it should return 2000 so let's confirm it yes it returns so let's get back to day data just for the sake of uh, doing it and as you can see i have now found the uh, max <coughs> what i would say the max uh, value of whatever is out of these values out of the all the values what is the max value okay so let's uh, use this logic and uh, put it in for uh, painting this painter and uh, also to decide the uh, height of this uh, exact field value okay so since this is not the right way to do it so what we will be doing we will be writing a method which will return a list of bars okay now how many bars we will need uh, the number of entries we have so definitely there will be a loop used here okay so let's create this method mm, let's do it here itself so let's make this method build bars okay 
let's create a list of our bar graph bar and let's call it bars let's initialize this okay and uh, copy this uh, code uh, where we are finding the max value because we will need it so now we have max value here now we need to go through the values so we will have to pass the value here as well okay and uh, let's simply yeah that is okay now what we can do values dot for each okay so it should know that it's a list of values so let's do that for each so this will be a simple graph data each value of this will be a graph data okay and uh, yeah so fine maybe it works like this only I am not sure but okay so we will add the end we will return the bars and since it's local so let's keep it like this it's a good practice now first we need to find the percentage see uh, you know we have to add something like this okay uh, we have to add <coughs> bars in this sorry guys I was uh, sounding low little bit so height will be okay it's um, um the height will be i guess it's a graph height again so let's move this here and uh, we have height here now percentage we need to calculate because it depends on the data so we have found that 100 divide by 160 will be the percentage we know this we know this so it will be very easy to calculate the percentage so double percentage equals to um, this particular value graph data dot value that, that will be 100 for my first case okay and divide by 160 which is my max value so max graph data dot value now this will give me percentage and this percentage I can pass in okay so um, this is not required and this percentage will be passed here and uh, then uh, this bar will be written now where this build bars will be used it will be used in this row and uh, based on the number of values uh, these bars will be created here so let's run it quickly okay. I think connection is lost so so now these values you know uh, depend on whatever we pass through here so it will change day data week data month data i will show okay so this is the issue this won't compile even oh let's see if it runs no it won't run so i have uh, run it again let's see if it runs correctly and okay so you can see the values here this is 160 showing here this is 100 so you can see 160 and this 80 so this is just half of it now just we need to animate the values uh, before that I would like to show you monthly data as well it will be a little bit cluttered because all 30 values will be there now since it's our data uh, we cannot help it but definitely uh, we have to find a better way for this but for this uh, videos uh, perspective we can just go by this so data is changing you don't need to have anything to do here just change the data and uh, it will switch in so now uh, we just need to add the animation and so for that uh, we will have to progressively change the value of this percentage okay from zero to the exact percentage okay uh, so we have to use our animation and uh, uh, we will use this controller for that for that uh, we will need this uh, we won't need this actually we will need just uh, init state we won't need single state uh, provider because we already have our controller so we will have state here and <coughs> we can create a animation which will not be final definitely so it will be animation or we can say it will be a twin uh, okay it will be animation of uh, double value so this will be height animation or you can say percentage animation that will be much better percentage animation equals to, okay declared here underscore for 
it's a local file a local variable so percentage animation equals to what I would say um, a tween will take which will have begin with zero and end with widget dot percentage whatever be the percentage suppose this is 50 percent so it will start from the animation will start from 0 to 50 okay and then we will animate with our uh, controller of course so we will need con controller here as well so what we can do uh, we have animation controller here in graph we need to pass it to graph bar and uh, yeah so I guess we have to pass it here as well animation controller graph bar animation okay graph bar animation controller right and this will have this graph bar animation controller and here as well this can be passed so controller will be our widget dot controller or where it is where is the container animation controller so this will pass here this will get uh, of course you can do it with inherited widget but I am just showing graph animation here so I am not caring about uh, this uh, passing the variable again and again to these things um, you can do it in uh, using an edited widget so uh, just to have a look at what uh, my uh, previously created uh, uh, video on inherited widget okay so okay so this is graph animation controller we got it we will pass it here okay it will be widget dot graph any graph bar animation controller okay fine so we just formatted it now what we have to do whenever um, uh, we have to uh, actually add listener to it and whenever there is a value change we have to set the state okay now what will what this will do you know uh, we did same thing in our uh, animation radial progress so animated radial progress so this is a uh, 60 frame per second uh, frequency that is uh, 60 frames per second are being uh, refreshed per second so um, first value will be something and that value will be percentage animation dot value so this value will go here and suppose it will be uh, our target value is 50 so my first will be 6 so it will animate till 6 then 12 then 18 then like that it will do so uh, similarly the percentage will get animated and uh, uh, on the yes on the click of our um, I would say on the cliff click of this uh, ink will widget this uh, that on top of graph this controller will move in forward direction when this moves in forward direction uh, this um, animation will also start in the forward direction is starting from 0 to I will say 50 okay 0.5 so and uh, on each uh, frame uh, re update uh, this set state will be called when the set state is called we initialize this bar painter and when the bar painter is getting initialized it will use the current value which will be the first uh, value of the first frame okay so let me just run it and uh, whatever I am speaking let us make sense of it so okay maybe what is the issue percentage is double animated evaluation is not a subtype of animation double so okay, so I have found the issue it was very silly issue this double needs to be added here okay it sometimes does not work means it doesn't work anytime so we have to specify here now uh, also yeah we can do now let's run it and see what is the output so it's not running uh, let me just stop and run it once more maybe uh, this percentage animation instead of this we have to use widget dot uh, uh, graph bar animation controller dot add listener okay so let's see whether it runs or not okay it doesn't run so use widget dot okay now let's run it and also I found this that it should be final so let's do it
okay again there is oh we are not using this percentage animation oh sorry uh, that was my mistake so let's again revert back so that we are uh, sure on which what thing works and what thing doesn't work okay so this also works now when the animation will happen when i click on this so when i click on this this happens right so i guess the animation is okay now what you need to do that it's a complete blue color why so uh, for this uh, uh, i can say we have to work on this thing so there is some beginning here so you can begin the shader so it can be from top uh, i would say what is that um gradient dot or what we okay let, let me remember what this begin takes it takes alignment okay so it will be alignment uh, dot uh, top center so let's run it and now you can see the color difference here right so i guess the animation is over and so far so this video is also good here i can stop here in the next video we will be completing the activity part which is this complete activity we have just clicked this we have just animated this and also we would not like to have it animated on the click so just for the demo purpose i made this move in forward direction on the click so in the later video it won't be there uh, and uh, we will uh, i will showcase you that so this is the output you can just uh, see once more i will run it and uh, yeah that's it if you like the video guys please subscribe the channel and if you uh, uh, want to uh, hit the like button then you are welcome so thank you guys uh, uh, and uh, yeah uh, hit the bell button so that you can get the latest updates about the channel and uh, new thing about the uh, whatever videos i add you you can just get the notification there so that's it thank you bye